to our living room. Like those lofi vibes. This right here is her bra. We play Frank Sinatra, the one that's like New York. No wait, that's Alicia Keys. Tonight is. Why didn't you throw it in? All for you. Because if it looks like a lemon, if it smells like a lemon, it's cold! I just want everyone to know that I am being forced against my will. I'm being held hostage as of right now to film this video. My whole body. By, who? by you, bitch! By, by me? You. Uh. Okay, I'm kidding. I made him spend all day helping me clean the entire apartment because for two reasons. I never really got to do like a house tour in Atlanta and I'm gonna do one here. And this is my fiance's work. Whoa, honey, whoa. Um, I think I got him. So I want you to be as honest no, as no, possible. No, 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 no. I don't take full credit. And he thinks that he is an interior designer by birth, right? No. And when it came to the Atlanta house, I was adamant that I wanted very specific things. I wanted a color scheme. I wanted to do it this way and that way. And this time I was like, you know what? You think you're Kelly Worcestershire? <laughs> you do it. You do it. So um, here we are. This is his redemption video. And I just want to say, I was very limited on the amount of things that I could bring from Atlanta because space was limited and every little thing that we brought had to be important enough to be able to bring it because we only have a finite space, right? So tell me why my mom tried to talk me out of bringing my air up. She's like, oh my God, it's just water. Like just drink water. And I'm like, lady, you freaking try it. Air up is not just water, but it is just water. Okay, I have the apple flavor in right now. I'm on an apple kick, I don't know why. I have like five apples in the fridge. Like anything apple is me right now. Unlike other flavored drinks, Arup uses this special German engineered technology to add taste through scent alone. You pop in these pots, right? There's so many different scents. My favorite ones right now are the apple wildberry, the freaking peach, and the scent of these fruits, these plants and other flavors, they make your brain and your taste buds light up. It feels like magic because there's no calories, there's no sugar, there's no BS. It's literally just straight up water, but it tastes so freaking good. I feel like this is gonna be the future where everyone will be drinking this and you're like, oh my God, can you believe where there was a time where we didn't have this? You just fill your bottle up, pop in the pot of your choosing like this, okay? You just pop it in. When it's all the way up to the top, that means you're ready to taste the flavors, the sensations. You can even put in fizzy water, flat water, and then all you do, that noise is completely normal. It's the air bubbles that allow you to experience that scent based flavor. And like, I don't know why the noise is so satisfying. So make sure to check the link in the description to try air up. And if you guys use my code MissFingleBud10, you can get 10% off. I highly recommend the wild berry, the peach, the apple. Sometimes I just open it up and sniff it like this straight up. She does. So thank you, Air Up, for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out Air Up, link in the description, and let's get into the house tour before the sun leaves. Hi, welcome to Architects Indigestion. Mm -hmm. This is my episode. It sounds like we're in the middle of a hurricane. A tornado is busting through the area. We don't know what this is. It's on 24-7. <laughs> I'm sure it's some sort of ventilation system, but if you guys live in New York City and your apartment has this, please let me know what this is because why is it so freaking loud? So this is the front door. Love this latch, right? This right here, so cool. Apparently, I can press a couple buttons and call the front desk. But it's broken? Yeah, but it's broken. Welcome to my storage unit. Wow. This is my pride and joy. Whoa. <laughs> Stuff here. Explain why, why there's five umbrellas hanging behind you. This one I ordered from Amazon because I was like, we're gonna need an umbrella in New York. I ordered it to the apartment. These three, you, me, and Tiffany that one day was ready. <laughs> and I was using it and then I found a cuter one. I can't be the only one that keeps clothes in the dryer for days on end. Like I start using this as my second closet. I will walk over here and grab a shirt, put it on, and I won't fold it. <laughs> Look at this shoe rack. I was trying to pick it up. It's very heavy. It's from a place called Open Spaces. They have so many different colors of shoe racks. Wow, look at that. I Tiger. Know. This part is still a work in progress because I want to do something fun on this wall. I have this standing mirror from CB2, which I love that it's standing because I can take it anywhere. I can bring it to the bedroom. I can bring it outside to the terrace for like cute little selfies or something. Does that make you miss your dog or our dog? He lays just <laughs> like this. Literally with all legs out. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. It's like he's dead or something. So then over here, this is 
like the work stuff, not really. I have my air purifier from Kobe. I got it at the Boba Design Store. These shelves are from a company called Hey. They took my fiance forever to assemble. Literally for days, would not stop complaining about his back. And these are metal, by the way. Listen, before you start selling them, it's not the most sturdy. <laughs> We We're still gonna do something behind her, like on the wall. I want to do some sort like, of like post-it art. We have this, which is our housewarming gift from Tiffany and Paul, which is a speaker. It adds to the vibe. We play Frank Sinatra. The one that's like New York. No wait, that's Alicia Key. Wait, we're not in New York. Good. So then this second drawer right here, we've got this little basket again from the MoMA Design Store, and it's it's from Hey, yeah, hey. I think. I just put a bunch of vlog cameras, my sunglasses, my Kindle, post-its, tripods, very like boring stuff. We've got more tripods, more boring stuff. And inside of this box, because I don't have like a makeup table, I keep all of my makeup. <laughs> and every single day I do my makeup in a different spot. And then on this side, we have the world's priciest pot. It's not that pricey, is it? It is like six yeah, it's the same price as other pods you have. Yeah, that's weird. But for some reason, it feels like a work of art, so I don't want to use it. So then I have my little notebook here. This is um where I write down all the times that my fiance has pissed me off to him one day. And you're still on page one. No, I'm halfway through. <laughs> I started this like yesterday. <laughs> I think this section probably needs the most work. Like it's so bare. The shelves looks really Awkward. ugly. We need organizers. Messy. Yeah, but but we we like it to be empty right now because. As we go out to shop around, we want to fill this slowly. This is my chair that I bought on um, AliExpress. I can't believe I'm buying furniture. No, no this, this is, is not from AliExpress. AliExpress. I'm sorry, I thought this was AliExpress. No, all these chairs are from a brand. Compared to a lot of other brands, more affordable and they're very unique. They're affordable, they're unique, but you might as well sit on the floor because it is the <laughs> most uncomfortable that I've ever had in my honey, life. Honey, 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 honey. That's from AliExpress. It's Okay, try sitting without it. Okay, and then go ahead and put on the cushion. So hard, huh? <laughs> Come on, man. Then we got um, this lamp from the MoMA design store. This is our favorite lamp, favorite. like tiny small lamp. It's like a tiny little shroom. Cord management, we'll get there one day, not today. And now the tomato is coming closer and closer. A to tomato? The tomato! This is the world's loudest AC. I have to turn it off every time we film anything. A pod, a mukbang, anything. And guess what? I'm drenched in sweat. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off? Turn it off. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna make this video quick, babe. <laughs> we gotta do this fast. So now, welcome to our living room, which I know is kind of like similar to our Atlanta living room because we love these couches. They're from uh, AliExpress as yeah. well. So right here we have this cute little rug, and on top of it we have two rectangular biscuits. Here. So cushiony They're so too. Cushiony. They are so much better than floor cushions that I could find online. Yeah. So comfortable. And then this table though. I actually bought it from a, um, yeah, store. like a secondhand yeah. antique store. But if you look closely, it's actually chipped at the corner. Yeah, this one's kind of bad. There are some scratches, but overall, not bad, right? I have been using it to fold laundry, to do work, to eat dinner. Literally everything has been done on this table. So here we have. Wait, what about over oh, here? Okay, let's go there. We have another air filter because I've got a lot of allergies and I'm a problematic person, okay? I got a lot of issues. And breathing is most definitely one of them. <laughs> then right here we have this sign. It says Kinchana in Korean, which is something that he hears me and my mom say every single day. And it means it's okay. <laughs> like, how's the food? Kintana. How are you feeling? Kintana. How's your relationship? Kintana. <laughs> oh, yeah. At night, this one is oh. such a vibe. It's giving yes. like those low fee yes. vibes. So, here we have a lamp from AliExpress, I think. Then, over here, we have this very mysterious vase that I got shipped from Anthropology that I never ordered. I even asked a friend of mine, like, oh my god, did you buy me a housewarming gift? And they go, no. Are you again? Whoever sent this, thank you. And then we have these four disco balls from Amazon. When the sun hits, it's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's yes. alive. Okay. Every day, Stephanie lays on right here in the afternoon. That's where she works. I will be right there. Some days I'll be over there if we are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and then behind us, we oh, have from Oh, this one's good. It's this like a bamboo wall divider. is from Overstock. It's like a sheet of bamboo. You just, yeah, turn it into whatever shape as a wall, wall divider. But and then we added in some uh, light. Yeah, it wasn't as pretty with 
without the light. So if you're gonna get it, you have to get some sort of spotlight. Yeah, and the light you can change oh. to any color at night. It really makes this wall. This wall would have been so bland, so boring. I wouldn't even know how to start with a wall this big. So this was a pretty affordable, unique way of just zhuzhing it up. And I think it adds some like texture. I bought this, I think you guys saw it in the vlog, but I bought it from a place called Coming Soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sticking trash in this. This is now a storage unit. This is the box this comes in. I'm using it both as a display. And then we have the kitchen, which you guys have seen. We judged it up a bit. I put these post-its on here in the shape of a heart because it's cute. And then I have my Biss Tennis linked in the description. Okay, this has been like part of my uniform. <laughs> he was like, do you really want a tote bag? I'm like, this is my favorite tote bag in the world, right? He uses it every single day. <laughs> this is a new addition from Amazon. It's a cat light. It's from AliExpress. Oh shoot, it's from AliExpress. Here's the thing though, be very careful if you put it on your oven because just remember to take it off your oven when you turn on the oven. It's so cute. I love it so freaking much. These chairs I assembled with my own blood, sweat, and tears. It's from the same company as the other chairs that we have. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to our sexy time now. I'm just kidding. I've had a yeast infection for like two weeks. This is my inner child coming alive. This was my dream children's room before I grew up. Everything is pink. Everything is green. There are still pieces that's coming. You guys want to know what's in here? Don't open it. You don't need to know what's in here. Then we got this lamp from the MoMA design store. Do not recommend. Because every time you try to turn it off. Okay, let's say you turn it off, right? It turns back on when you so put it down. You have to literally... And then two seconds later, it will it turn on by itself. Yeah. Have this neon stick from Hey. If you guys are living in that chronic yellow lighting, which I understand, I've lived in that chronic yellow lighting before, get a blue and a yellow from Hey. Blue and yellow, they balance each other out. And then it turns into a really nice, even... Yes, it's not too yellow, it's not too harsh of a white color. Yeah, it's like, like a clean yes. color. Right next to the bed, can we guess who the Tums are for? Tums? Probably for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's for my fiance. He takes like two of these a day because he claims it's the cottage cheese. It's the cottage cheese. He claims it's the lack of space in New York, but I be smelling a lot of stuff. Bruh. Meanwhile. When you're the most sexually attractive couple on the planet. <laughs> Welcome. To our walk-in closet. I found a new fit from Uniqlo, so I'm buying more of it. It looks like this. Oh, that's a good fit, honey. Behind this, we have a basket and this. Some of you guys might not know this, but um, please leave it in the comments. What time do you think I go to bed on a daily basis? Sometimes I go to bed really late because sometimes I like to do like a midnight bingo at midnight. But um, a lot of the times I go to bed before the sun goes down. It's ridiculous. I think I'm 70 years old. This right here. It's her bra. <laughs> it's my bra. It's amazing. The I world's hate best eye masks. Eye masks because they cover your eye and you can feel the pressure, right? Yeah. With these, you stick your eyeballs in there. They're so soft. It's pillowy. This one is made out of silk. It's from Manta, I think. Yeah. Manta so sleep. Rude. We'd be laying like this at like 6 p.m. Because <laughs> I don't know. We're seven. Not 6 p.m. Like 7:30, 8 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's still pretty bad. Welcome to my podcast studio. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. We got my little podcast gear, my little headphones, my chapstick. That's it. We only have one chair right now, yes, so good. we have to move it from the outside in here every time. <laughs> this is my little podcast corner, and tell me why it's more cozy than our podcast corner at home. I love this corner. Oh. I guess because we wait until it's completely dark to film. I will stay up for a Rotten Mingo. Like, I think for Midnight Mingo and Rotten Mingo, and then sometimes BAMs, I stay up way until the sun comes down because the vibe is just immaculate. It feels like there's no one else in the world but you and me and the mics and then you guys. These actually came with these lights. I think they're so fun. It's this orb that glows. These mix and match. Mix and match, yeah. Play with the color, sets the mood. So fun. Here we have this from AliExpress. <laughs> and 
this whole house. I think there's a theme. Yeah. All the batteries for her filming stuff. Batteries, more batteries. I got a suitcase that I'm using as a coffee table in here. This rug is actually making the room so, so cozy. cozy. What a vibe. Sometimes I just lay here and I contemplate life. You know, I, I, what do you think I ask myself when I lay here? What kind of questions do you think I'm asking? Wait, what's for dinner? Yeah, and like, why does my butt itch? You think the rash is spreading? <laughs> but I have my makeup brushes here in a cup. Will I buy a makeup brush organizer? Yeah. Will I just find a random cup in somebody's house or in a hotel or in my house and use a random ass cup as a makeup organizer? I don't know what it is about cups and meat and makeup brushes. I'm always gonna put it in a cup. Then over here is my section of the bed. My little eye patch, you microwave this for 15 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I don't microwave it, he microwaves it every day, okay? I throw it onto my eyeballs to get rid of my sty. That has been there for years. I got my chapstick here so I can put it on and at night. I thought I would hate that terrace, right? It makes me feel more grounded. I remember we lived in a high rise in LA and something about it, we were on like a really high floor, the views were fantastic, but I did not like it. Yeah, it feels like a box in the sky. Yes, but this, it's like a little bit of everything. It feels really grounded, it feels safe. Speaking of, we need to show them the outside. Oh, the lantern flies. <laughs> yeah. The lantern flies. The moment we got here, I see the most absolutely disgusting piece of on the ground, okay? It looks like a hybrid of... Just, just show them a picture. Yeah. Like they're red. Out. They're bright red and they're spotted. They're called spotted lantern flies. And the leasing agent was like, uh, they're really invasive. They're all over New York City. They're taking over. So what you need to do is you need to... Every time you see it, squash it. No one's gonna judge you, right? Bro, I there's like outside. so many of them. It's a trail of just dead spotted lantern flies. I'd be out there and I'm trying to be a New Yorker and I'm trying to, you know, provide some positive impact into this city that has graciously taken me in, right? And I did squish one once. Juicy. Bro, they're huge. They're juicy. They're, it's a texture that I cannot describe to you. Well, let's go show them. Yeah. It's right outside. Right here. And over here, we have one that's like... Mm, Marching. How do they walk really funny? They're made in China. They're made in China too? <laughs> Yesterday actually I saw like oh my god, there's one right here. Oh my god, there's so many all the time. And this is the view. We got a little park downstairs. They do classes every week. There's a little water park. The sunset is beautiful. Water. This building right here, super cool. The top of the building is like a crane that moves around 360. Every morning the it top. Comes up, yeah. That part right here just like comes up and then turns yeah. and then drops some people down here start cleaning the building. It really feels like Tony Stark lives up there. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to see where I take massive dumps? Yeah! Welcome to our bathroom. This is where we poo and everything else. So can you guys guess what's in my fiance's drawers? I don't even know what's in my drawer. Oh, get it together. Okay. So the first drawer, I organized it. Last drawer. Oh, it's all my stuff. That's not my drawer. What the heck? And then we got the second drawer. Some Q-tips. Yeah, cross. it's your stuff. More your. It's all your stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you guys want to take a guess of what's down here? More. More your stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. So I have some clean swabs. My blow dryer. These, honey. Do you know what this is for? Yeah, nipple covers. Oh. Bro, come on. And uh, I got these, which are aromatic shower steamer squares that are eucalyptus peppermint. I haven't used it yet, but you turn the shower on, and you throw one of these. What are you saving it for? Tonight is. Why didn't you throw it where in? I will fall for you. I was gonna save it for a special occasion. Then these are so cool. Okay, ready? Dun 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 dun. Hello, guys. These are so cool. So this is his section, which you can tell by his age. It's just a bunch of salon passes, which is um, you put it on when your body is sore, and then the emergencies, Pepsid. I'm sorry, Tylenol. Are you 70 years old? <laughs> and then mine. It's just a bunch of skincare and some other essentials, band-aids. That's pretty much what's going on here. I put this one in a couple of days ago. E humidifier. Look, Look at how much liquid is in there already. Oof. That's disgusting. That's my steamy rash juice right oh. there. Obviously, we still need to get some artwork for this place, right? Some sort of. <laughs> okay. No, don't give them. 
of a close up of the rash. We need to get more kitchen stuff because we have two plates. And I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little bit rough. Oh, okay, so like maybe we'll go out after I itch for a second. Huh? Yeah, this is a place called Artisan Fleet. It's at the Chelsea Market. <laughs> to Kristen. I'm so excited. She gave me tacos recommendations, Italian food recommendations, and now we're inside of Artists and Flea in Chelsea. I think this is the spot. We saw so many different print spots, but this one is such a fun vibe. Yeah, this one says movie. This is vintage Broadway. Vintage cartoons. Wow. Okay, so this place has so many fun prints, but we got a big one. I will show you guys when we get home, and he is stuck on this one. It's a Poland one. They can frame all of these, but they have even like vintage Vogue. So pretty. We just got out of Artisan Fleet and this guy is carrying around this big old thing. This is so cute. They have cute little workbooks. They're such idiots. There's more. Okay, this this place is literally just called Books. And a coffee table book, so maybe I'll find it here. It keeps going. Why is it so cute in here? What are these knickknacks? And they have puzzles? Am I there yet? These are so cute. It's just store after store and my fiance is carrying around this big old print. It looks like it. It's called the Pearl River Mart. This is your grandpa's cup. Yeah, he does this every morning. <laughs> Why does he do that? What does that there's do? there's coffee leaves, so you uh, have to like push it aside. Okay. You want one? Or he is turning into his grandpa. Do you want one? And I feel like your dad would have a blast here. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Like at this point, I feel like I'm in Disneyland. <laughs> like, what is going on? This is that little store. It's called Chelsea Market Basket. Look at it. <gasps> Look at those. He's so amazed by this. You never had something like this. Chocolate cover orange slice. Can we get it? Get it, yes. It's a lemon soap. Okay, the pressing question is does it smell like a lemon? Because if it looks like a lemon, if it smells like a lemon. It's a lemon. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. I gotta get some sugar in me. Will you hold this while I unwrap it? Whoa, 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 you're making. Wow, it's really good. That little piece of orange chocolate just ignited a flame of hunger inside of us because we immediately are yelping. Most reviewed restaurants, there's a place called How Noodle. It's the weekend, so I was a little bit nervous, but um, just a five minute wait to get in. I'm so excited. The restaurant is so aesthetic, and we almost missed it. We almost keep missing all of these restaurants, and it's like the smallest little door, and then the cutest little restaurant when you walk in. This guys, said, let me get you a cup of water, because we're on a date. Also, I love this, um, it's like a PowerPoint presentation that you we got going on. Thank you, sir, for the water. You said cheers. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is like the price of Din Tai Fung Woodier Mushrooms, and Din Tai Fung gives me like half of this. So I'm impressed, and I feel like I just ordered it like five seconds ago. It was almost instant. It was nearly instant. It's very sour. I love it. Wow, why is this so aesthetically pleasing? This is their appetizer tasting menu. Oh, he's gonna love this. It's got like 25 million dried chilies on there. And this is their cucumber, and I don't even know what that is. This is their octopus salad. Wow. Oh, we might have to order octopus salad. I think I don't know what this is. I have a feeling you're gonna love it though. Beef. Mm, some beef. Wow, the beef is good. Oh my gosh, it tastes like hot pot. Wow, that's the braised oxtail, and it looks so delicious. This is an eight spice fried tofu. Mind blowing. I expected blowing? it to be firm tofu. No, it's soft almost tofu. milky. Now we shall try if the ox tip will drop. I'm so used to Korean peppers. Spicy? It's so spicy. <laughs> We <laughs> have over ordering anytime we're at a Chinese spot. <laughs> okay, this is called, what is it, spicy and sour? Sour spicy fish. Ooh. I've never had the sour version, I've only had the spicy version. The veggies are so crunchy, but they're not overly sour. It's almost like a just a nice fermented taste. Mm. 
we love this place so much that not only did we get our rest of the food to go, but we also ordered more appetizers, like three more appetizers, so just so good. we could take it back home and eat it for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> it's called a How Noodle House in Chelsea. How means good. They're not lying. <laughs> I showed you guys the cute little apartment tour. This is what it looks like in reality. It's just a pile of laundry that has now removed from the dryer because I need the dryer for the towels to now the coffee table. Am I gonna be using the coffee table as my third closet for the next two days? Absolutely. Let me show you guys what I got. Are you ready? Whoa. How pretty is that? It says New Orleans Delta Airline. What? Delta Airline? <laughs> Delta Airlines. So cute. See, the color really complements the red, the oh, purple. Oh, yeah. But it's not too primary color. Like, this is a bit primary color, but this is like a that works. Wow. And then the bedroom. Boom. Look at that. Thank you for tuning in to Stephanie and her rash and another amazing rash video, essentially, because that's what it turned into. Can I just say, I was in one of the stores and I was itching like this, and I turned around and someone was staring at me. Does it look like I'm itching my crotch? Yeah. <laughs> I literally was like this, and I turned around and I made eye contact with one of the employees. I'm like, oh my god, she definitely thinks I have lice down there. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much. Make sure to check out Air Up. Link in the description. And keep it hot. I keep it cheap. I love you. Bye.